Episode 7, Let's Be a Family Again. How are you feeling, Mum? Much better now that my boy's here with me. You really scared me. (coughs) I'm so sorry. I didn't want to make you sick. Don't blame yourself. My heart is not strong as it used to be. (laughs) What about you? Are you okay? Actually, apart from my career, I don't remember much of my past. Rachel's helped me with that. She sounds like a nice girl. I'd like to meet her. She is. She's the one who told me you were sick. In fact, she learned it from Harold. Harold called you? Oh, your brother loves you, Dave. Life's just made him a little too tough. Mom. But it's true, Harold. You gotta let it go sometimes. Harold, I'm very grateful to you for being a bigger person than me and for having taken care of Mum. It's too late to regret that now. You really think that you can just apologize and everything will go away after all these years? Harold, don't talk to your brother like that. Please, boys, it's no use fighting over the past. Mum, I know what he means. He's right. No. I sincerely believe that everything happened for a reason. It brought us back together. So let's put an end to this resentment. Let's be a family again. Please? Harold, my brother, I have no doubt I've been a horrible person and that I've hurt all of you. At least you have the guts to admit it. Harold! Mom? Yeah, Harold, I have no idea why I neglected you. There's part of me that really doesn't want to remember that. My baby, that doesn't matter anymore. I can tell you're different. Exactly. After the accident, all the things that have been found about my past show that I'm very different from who I was. I'm ashamed of my mistakes. On the other hand, I know I've done some things right. As an artist, it seems I have been successful. I still am. Yeah, that's really weird. Harold! Okay, okay. What I want to say is that it would mean a lot to me if I could make your life better. Hey, we don't want your money, Dave. You want to win us over with your smooth talk? You really have the nerve to come here and say that? Harold! Mom, listen to him! I know, Harold. I know it doesn't sound good. But all I want is a chance to show you I'm not that person who let you down anymore. I can help. I know it doesn't change what I did. But please, let me help with Mum's treatment. Don't worry, son. I'm fine. Uh, no, Mom. I hate to admit it, but he's right. You need better doctors, and we can't afford that. The doctor said you'll need surgery soon. So let me help you with that. Please, Harold. Hmm. All right, but let's make it clear. I'm only accepting your help because of Mom. Thanks, Harold. Let's work on that together, like brothers. (coughs) 
Mom, you okay? Yes, I'm just glad to see you two together again. You used to be so close. By the way, Mom, do you have any pictures of me as a child? I'd love to see one. Of course, sweetheart. Here in this drawer. This picture was taken by your father before he, you know. But let's not talk about that. Hmm. Okay. Harold and I looked really close indeed. I hope we become friends again. I taught you to play Lego that day. We had tons of fun. You can keep it. Something to remember us by. Hey, you hear that? It sounds like you have fans here in the neighborhood, sweetie. <laughs> Gee, Dave, Mom needs to rest, and you make all this fuss. I'll end this right now. But I didn't. Never mind him, Dave. <laughs> Harold is short-tempered. Ah, my boy, a star. I love you, Mum. I love you, son. I guess I'd better go help Harold before the fans wear him out. <laughs> <laughs> daddy, daddy, there's a bunch of people out there. The TV, look. What? The TV? Yes, Harold. We snuck out of the hotel and made sure nobody saw us. How the heck did they find us here? I have no clue. Dave, what do we do now? I don't know what you're gonna do, but deal with it. Get them out of here. Well, there's only one way. I'll give them what they want. I have an idea. Hello. Hey, Dave. What are you doing in Spotwood? Who are these people? I'm visiting my family. My mom got sick. I came to see her. This is my brother Harold, and my nephew Andrew. Family? Wow, Dave. That's new. Yeah, yeah. But I'd like to ask for your patience. My mom needs to rest. I can give you a press conference as soon as I get back to the hotel. You heard the man. Back off. Show's over. Dave, Dave, just a picture with your family. Okay, fine. Hey, Dave, pick up your nephew so he can be in the picture too. Oh no! Isn't that Paul's limo? How did they find us here? Dave, Rachel, we need to get out of here. Come. Now what? It's your fastest way out of here. Come on, Rachel. If we go, everybody else will. Go with Daddy, Andrew. Uncle Dave has to go. Are you coming back, Uncle Dave? Of course I will. Behave yourself, okay? Harold, kiss Mum goodbye. I'll call tomorrow. Thanks for having me. It was very good to see you. Harold, it was a pleasure. Best wishes to your mother. Bye, Aunt Rachel. Thank you. My pleasure, Rachel. Come on, Rachel. Pal must be insane. What the hell happened to him? Can anyone tell me? I'm sorry, but there's no explanation for what happened. He should have stayed at the hotel. It was unexpected, but you gotta admit it turned out to Dave's advantage. Maybe, but a lot of money was invested. I can't risk it. You're paranoid, Donovan. Everything is under control. Lupov. Yes, Miss Donovan. I think it's time for a checkup on our patient. Okay, I'll do it tomorrow.